All right. What's up to the most beautiful subscribers in the galaxy? Just here. It's time for, this looks like a black hole going in, for our deep dive number two. Now we're going into some decentralized finance, specifically into these decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs. And this one specifically is looking at how to capture carbon credits and to use them twofold, A, to generate revenue with them, and B, to increase the cost of doing business for companies that are poor in their carbon um, considerations and make it impossible for them to do business over time. So here at the community, you can go to their Discord. We'll get to that in a second. There's documents about what we're describing here, this is climate DAO, I'm saying climate like climate. So what is a DAO? Talk about this. You can go through and read all of this, the point of it, how do you participate? You can stake it or you can bond and we'll do somewhat of that, but not too much. I'm just going to point you in a direction for you to read for yourself. None of this is financial advice. Remember that and everything we're going to talk about, some of the things we're going to discuss. And I'm going to do something separate, I guess, for that, but I'll just show a bit of it now. Um, yeah, I'm going to put something together in the middle of this real quick. But anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you if you had no clue how to start from the very beginning to work your way all the, through the steps of how to put money onto this platform and try to see your money grow. So in this, we're going to start off with changing your fiat into crypto, you know, if the United States, there's other ways about it. If you have the United States, crypto.com is also here. I don't have that on here. And none of these, I don't have no links to anything. None of this is anything make money off of it. This is just stuff that I find interesting for entertainment purposes. And you may do for yourself. But I'm going to show you what the steps are going to be. I'm going to create a MetaMask. We're going to walk you all three through the steps. We're going to make a one, a burn one. I'm not through everything, even where you'll see the seed phrase because i'm not going to ever use it and never use it and throw it away but we'll go through it you'll see that and then we're gonna go to the polygon network and bridge over your ethereum from um your metamask we're going to send money to your metamask wallet we're going to create a metamask wallet send money to it then we're going to bridge over ethereum this is all we're going to do in this video bridge over ethereum from ethereum to the polygon network then we're going to buy, um, go to Sushi Swap and and use the now the wrapped Ethereum on the Polygon network to buy Matic for the Polygon network, which is the native coin, as well as Clima. And then we're going to go to Clima and stake the Clima. And then we're going to join the Discord and learn and read and ask questions about what's going on. We're not going to do all of this in the video. And I'm also going to give them a suggestion so that I'm going to show because I'm going to use a part of what I'm going to do is a, a wallet for this organization that I work with and help. <clears throat> so let's get started. Move quick with it. So, you know, boom, change your fiat over. Let's make the MetaMask wallet. So I open up a browser on Firefox. I don't use Firefox, but it's the only place where I don't have a MetaMask wallet to show it. Let's, we're going to go here. So go to metamask.io. I believe that's here. I'm going to go to metamask.io. Make sure you are in the right place when you go there. To the right, it should look like this. You can see even metamask.io. I'm going to download. Do it for Firefox. Install metamask for Firefox. Get the extension, add to Firefox. And boom, it's there. A lot of run private windows, okay? You go let this do whatever you want, whatever it wants to do. So now I got MetaMask there. You can see barely there, it's like a little fox on my screen. Now, I recommend doing this in either Chrome or Brave, depending on, Chrome seem to work pretty well for mostly everything. Brave also, you gotta cut off some of the uh, protective stuff for some of the sites you go to. MetaMask is just a web wallet. It doesn't do anything in and of itself besides that's where it holds currency. 
you go to these other sites to interact with them to do things and you want your metamask to be strong and safe we'll talk about that and i'm gonna um beat it into your heads um but other than that uh neat okay i got it there all right gotta make sure you got see me got paper and pencil and i keep a notebook <clears throat> paper pencil notebook with a pen and so you gotta be very careful with your security with your metamask so here we open up our metamask i don't know why it's taking so long yeah okay get started get started enter no i already have a secret recovery phrase we are not using a secret recovery phrase we are setting up a new one but remember the secret recovery phrase is the most important thing there's nothing i can stress more than anything if you lose this you lose this money there's no one you can cry to there's no one who's gonna have a copy of it but you that is what's so special about all of this that you control your own stuff no one can get to it so when you go to these other websites and you setting up your metamask even though you are connecting with your MetaMask these sites and dealing with them, they can't go into your MetaMask without your permission. You know, all they can do is just, now you can interact with that site, but they can't drain nothing from it without you giving them um, your seed phrase or, um, that I believe, yeah, you gotta give them a seed phrase. So don't give anyone your seed phrase ever. No one, no one, no one. There's no one that ever needs it for any reason. Scammers will lie all day and say, oh, I'm a customer service. And for this, you never, no one ever needs your C phrase, ever. Never forget that. And that's for all the wallets you create. Create a wallet. I agree. So this is how I create passwords real easy. I use a piece of paper and I write it down first. And we're going to do a simple password. I pick three four-letter words. We'll do gray, G, R A Y. Um, let's then we can do tuck T U C K and um, trip T R I P. Then I uh, pick two numbers. In this case, we'll just pick 63 and a special character. In this case, we will pick. Mm, let's go to percentage sign. So I put the percentage sign after the word trip and then the number 63. And I capitalize the T in the word trip. So, and you can play around with this and I'm going to show um, a way to kind of how to put this together. A little how to in terms of passwords, but it's lowercase gray and then lowercase tuck capital T-R-I-P, I mean, um, percentage sign 63. And then I gotta retype it, go gray. I never use those, um, make your own password, blah, blah. You can make your own passwords that are very safe. Very secure is what I, the term I want to use. So make your own secure passwords. Agree to terms of service. Create. It wants to save this. Don't save. I don't say that for that. Watch the video. They just try to tell you be safe with it. I agree. You see this saving a pass, saving a bank. I agree with all of these things, and that's what how you should do it now. Never, ever let anybody see this. Remember, this to me, this is the burn wallet. I'll never look at this wallet again. If somebody wants to go and use this and they play back and forth for stealing it from each other, have at it. Who cares? But when you, I reveal these 12 words, I'm going to write them down on my piece of paper. Now, in real life, I recommend you have separate written notes. You don't put this on a computer. Don't type this into a computer unless I'm going to type it into something. Put it, save it on a um encrypted usb and take it off yes i'll do that but other than that this is um written in separate places and hidden <laughs> so boom let's go with it i write this down i get it make sure i write them in order sorry i'm off screen as a i guess i'm not too off screen as i write this but 
This is not. I'm gonna pause and come back there and write this. Hold on. Execute order. That was. I was saying that to myself in the middle of it, and it was funny. Execute order 66. So I got that. Boom. Let's go. Now I gotta put it back in order. Ticket. Boss. Endless. Old. Change. Execute. Fade. Visit. Pack. Parry. Teach. Cruel. Confirm. All right, I did it. Um, blah, 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 blah. Swap it on there. Blah, blah, blah. And that is how you set up a MetaMask. Now, look, okay, with MetaMask, you go, I'm going to show you some other stuff as well while we're here at the screen. This is your, um, your account information and your clipboard. So you copy this, and this is how people send money to you. How you receive money is this how you can. So if you want to get somebody, you want to put your address in there to receive something, this is where you have to um, uh, go get your information from. Also, go here to account details. Go here to account details. And like if you're using your phone, if you're using your Coinbase on your phone or your Kraken or Gemini and you have to take a picture. So if you want to send money, you, you buy money with your Coinbase. This is how I do it a lot. Let me give you a bit of a visual. So I buy money on my Coinbase. Then um, at the end, it'll say send money to, uh, you know, say I buy Ethereum and I want to send it here to my MetaMask. So I buy the Ethereum and then it'll show like a, uh, here, maybe just show it real quick. Yeah. The things I do, the price is pumping now and I'm over here. Um, Helping you guys out with this. I don't believe I have any Ethereum or anything that's Ethereum based to send right now. I think I got some she, but I'm not gonna send that. I'm not gonna send it to this account. But uh, if I was, okay, I can show if I was. And what I did is I got the, all that free. They give you a bunch of free money on Coinbase in terms of. Um, You get free money you, by answering questions, and then you can convert it for free into other currencies. And I, you know, that's what I deal with with me shibs. So I'll just show you. So you open your Coinbase, and I got like nineteen bucks in shipping here. Three hundred eighty-five thousand. If you get to a penny, that'd be about uh, three thousand. So you hit that button. That's like a little arrow, and that's to send money. So boop, and then it'll come here and say going slow how much you want to send and then you say say like if you have boss Ethereum, i say i'll send the max i can send the max say all of it and then you say yes and then continue at the bottom continue and then you have to put the address now that little sign right there when i click that is looking for now that qr code and if i go in here and click my qr code boom It'll show that address now in there. And so that's how you send money really quickly to your MetaMask. <clears throat> so that's one way. And then here's how you switch between the different networks. And I'll show you in a second how we add a network. Like um, we're going to go to, you know, talk about Climber today. So let's do Climber Dow. Let's go here to its, its finance. And it's going to say, um you want to connect your wallet connect your metamask yes then it's going to say do you trust this you can read all this stuff just, just you don't have to read this stuff if you know the site you're going to 100 percent you on that site you want to be there and you want to connect it because they can't do anything without your permission anyway so connect and they say look wrong network blah 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 switch the main net it'll say okay we want to add the site to add a network approve and now it's added to polygon main net and you approve and now you have in your um, repertoire Polygon. So you can still go back to Ethereum and go back here. But if you say, all right, I also want to go to my Polygon there. So now you've got to get a Matic and Ethereum here. So, And a quick and dirty way to add assets as well. Let's go here to Coin. 
Gecko. And on Coin Gecko, you're going to say, let's look up. Um, we're going to add Clima to this. Why not? Let's go there. Clima. And you can't really... Okay, you can see it move out the way. I can add it to my MetaMask. Add token? Yes. And now when I go here to MetaMask, assets, you see we got Clima. And if I switch over to Ethereum and go back there and say, let's add... Sheeb. People love the sheeb. Token. Go over to my MetaMask. Now you see, I got sheeb there as well. And later for... I think I may show here, but we're going to add... For... My guys... This group, we may buy some Z today. How much is Z selling for? Wow, the price is still going up. And it was at like 50, it was at nine cent two weeks ago, but 50 cent two days ago. So it is what it is. I knew it was going up and it's going to go up even higher. I'm thinking that may even get into like the hundreds of dollars a piece, but it's nothing of this, none of this is financial advice. So do. Do what you will in all this in the world. So, boom. That's the basically getting started off. How much did we knock off with that? All right. We got our MetaMask. And we created it. And now let's send money to it. All right. Well, through the magic of, like I said, we will never be using this. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this off. Get rid of this. Pause this real quick. All right, so we got 0.3 Ethereum. Oh, the price went up. It was okay. This is popping. So we got 0.3 Ethereum over here in the wallet for <clears throat> organization. So what we're going to do now is we need to open up some more tabs. So. All right, so here we have to go to the Polygon Web Wallet at the web wallet polygon technology and bridge our ethereum to the polygon network because as you can see here from the magic i've already had some ethereum over here but let's, so let's go to polygon bridge I already have some of it here and you want to add these to your bookmark bookmark these things and i tried to some of the stuff on these browsers are new, so I try not to do too much yet because I want you to see how it all works. So I'm going to connect the wallet, connect my MetaMask. It's going to ask. I trust it. Yes. It's connecting. I'm signing greetings. Okay. I want to go to the bridge, and I'm sending money from Ethereum to the Polygon network. I'm going to send I'm a 0 0.3 here. I'm going to send... 0.25 see how much they go charge me for that they charge a lot of money for all of this transfer yes 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 it's gonna take minutes cost about 169 bucks to do it but i gotta get it done i want to make i want to hopefully do this for my family now of course it's not gonna be able to see the stupid thing because Okay, it's not too bad. Fifty-five dollars. They're not charging too much. Now this is gonna take about eight nine minutes, so I'm gonna pause and wait till we um, uh, it bridges over. But I'll show this real quickly. It's gonna ask for a confirmation, or it's gonna tell me it's confirmed and it'll be pending. And with the money I have left, we may really quickly look on Sushi Swap for Ethereum and see how much the Z is selling for. I'm just gonna wait for this transaction to occur really quickly. And I'll show you how to use Sushi Swap as well on this. I'm sitting here and I don't want to sit all day. So let me pause for a little bit until it confirms. It shouldn't be too long. Well, sometimes you need to see how this is, but you don't need to sit and wait for it unless things are happening in a way where, yeah, you may have to sit and wait for things. But you can see it just happened. So now the transfer process is pending now on the Polygon wallet. It's going to take about 10 minutes. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to open up another window and we're going to go to Sushi Swap. 
I'm going to switch my MetaMask over. Well, it's on Ethereum, good. Um, I'm going to connect my wallet here. Connect MetaMask. Yes, yes. Usually stuff like that. When I'm connected, it says how much I have. Now, how much Z can I buy? Is that Z token? Going gecko and put it at the sure And sometimes what I'll do is go to Coin Gecko, look for that coin, and make sure I go from there. It looks like it, but I just want to be certain. Um markets Uniswap. Well, let's check out Uniswap. Pause it real quick to go off Uniswap. No, it's not, no need to do that. So let me just go there. Uniswap. Uniswap. Launch app. Same thing. Um, I guess I'm already... Um, what's the word? I'm already connecting my wallet to this one. But I'm going to add it as a bookmark. Actually go back here to SushiSwap. And add that as a bookmark. Bookmark these ones you go to so that when you go for you're not sitting here and and worrying about you going to the right websites now we're gonna i'm gonna do another deep dive talking about liquidity pools where you go here and for example i would go to a liquidity pool and i would add i can do a new position and i would add like ethereum and usd or ethereum and chain link or ethereum and sheeb or ethereum and whatever you can think of, uh, Matic or Ethereum and DAI. And you can, so people are over here swapping for that. Like, oh, I got Ethereum, I want this. And if you put money into that pool, meaning you donated equal amounts of whatever, and it doesn't have to be Ethereum, you can pick other things. You can, all of these, you know, a lot of people use the stable coins, the USD and the Tether, but all of these, Aave, any of these can be, you can use as, pairs and so you just put two pairs of equal value and when people are trading back and forth you get a um a price a piece of the cut depending on how much of the pool you've donated so you donated 0.01 percent you get 0.01 of the cut if you donate where you got five percent of it and you get five percent of the cut so that's how and we'll talk more about that and show that but for now we are just looking Here. So actually, let's just see how much the different prices are. So let's say we we're going to get 0.02, about a hundred bucks worth. So we we're going to do that on Ethereum. How much would it cost now? I may not even have enough money for it. We don't look insufficient funds. They're trying to charge almost 0.2 to get that, almost ninety dollars to buy that. So reject that, dismiss. Let's go to Sushi Swap and ask the same question. How much would it be to get the Z token? Much as I'm vamping it, that 10 minutes may pass. I was going to pause it and um, go do something else. insufficient liquidity for this trade oh i guess it doesn't have a liquidity in um sushi swap so you would have to get it from uniswap we don't have sorry don't have enough to buy that let me see if i can 0.01 if i can get just a couple confirm swap see i would pay more in gas than i would to get what i want so i'm not doing that I am not doing that. Now let's go over here and see where we are at with, it's still pending, but I'm going to switch over to the Polygon network. And I don't know why I got out of that sushi swap because I'm gonna need that in a second, but I got mad because of how much <laughs> they're charging to get that Z4, I'm gonna need the wrapped Ethereum in a second. 
when it comes through. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for this transaction to go through. And once that traction transaction goes through, um, once we, you know, we bridge over Ethereum, we're going to switch MetaMask to Polygon Network, and then go to SushiSwap, and we're going to swap the wrap Ethereum for Somatic, just about $10 worth to use on MetaMask. And also we're going to swap wrapped Ethereum for Clima. So let's get ready for that. All right, so the transaction is no longer pending. You can see now my Ethereum balance is lower. Now I don't know why my Ethereum balance here in the Polygon chain should reflect. Here, let me control F5. All right, well, let's go to Sushi Swap. Move over to Sushi Swap, wrap the Ethereum. Okay, see our balance here at 0.25. We do have a little bit of Matic, but I'm going to get, I want at least 10 Matic. Prove that. This transaction is confirmed. Allow Sushi up to spend my WETH. Yep, cool with that. It's approving. Approved, and now I can do the swap, confirm the swap, and you can see how much Matic they use. So this is why you we're gonna use why Climate is actually good to be on Matic. It's much cheaper than Ethereum. We have Matic already, but I wish I could have my my ETH for that. So now let's look. And we got our Matic there. So we got some Matic. We got our ETH here. And now we're going to get some Clima. Clima down. And we're going to do all of it. Max it out. So about that. Swap it. Confirm. Please try again. Uh, swap, confirm, increase my slippage tolerance. Okay, so let's figure this out. Limit. Uh, liquidity. Where's the slippage tolerance? Oh, okay. Let's go to, let's go to 1%. Go back to swap, max, swap. Let me give it about half of that. We'll go for that. Here, confirm. Add climate to my MetaMask. I want to add that token. Remember, this is a different wallet from the one that you saw with the uh, password, too. You do not know the password to this one or the uh c phrase so and we swapped it and now you can see we have it and so now we're going to go here to climb a dow we're in a polygon network remember polygon network we got that matic with our assets here we can switch over to climb it takes a second to kind of update it's not the fastest in the world see it still has it we have all this ethereum but in reality, you see, we swapped tokens already. So, anywho, I'm going to come over here. You don't need to switch to it. You can just leave where it's at. It, it reads what you have on your uh, wallet anyway. <clears throat> going here to the app. And it shows we have 0.5035 Clima. And we are going to stake all of it. But we have to approve of it. We have to approve first. Saying we approve that it's gonna we're gonna allow it to do transactions. Yes. Just charges a you know, tiny amount of um Matic. And I don't even need you probably need probably just like five Matic. You don't even need ten, but I was just, you know, being safe. Ethereum used to be really cheap over time, but then it as the network became more congested, um that changed. So wait for this to confirm. 
and this is just going through and pausing it as it goes through, but you have to, before we can, I can stake it, I have to approve for them to interact with my wallet and then it'll go for the stake. So you can see we have point five zero three five Clima and we're going to stake all of it, turn it into S Clima and then the time until next rebase will be six hours and six minutes at a rebase rate of 0.54% every eight hours. In five days, we should have a return of 8% on our money, which the price of climate goes up and down. So you have that to deal with. It is going slow. You can look here at the transaction. Pull up your MetaMask wallet. You can, I guess you can speed it up by paying more. And I'll show you how that works. Let me see if I can do it. So here you can see what your gas limits are. And this is how much Matic you're sending. I'm not going to change anything here. This is. I don't know why this is uh, taking this long. Normally it doesn't. Let's just bump this up a little bit. Ah, oh, went through. So now we're going to stake it. So see a success. It approved. We can now interact. Now we're going to stake. Now it's going to interact again. It's going to charge us more money. 0 0.0069 this time. Confirm it. I can even add more from that point. When you do gas wars, that's what people start adding more to, you know, try to push through other people in, um, on the blockchain to get their transaction kind of solidified first. So, boom, we're staked. So now you see we are staked with this Clima. 0.5035 and we'll do a bit of journey i'll check in with this let you see how um this wallet is doing with their climber over time you know not there's not a I'm, I'm i'm excited about this i hope this does well it may all uh, go away but um you don't know we'll see you're watching now. I'm going to go and see how much I can, if I can get any of that. So you go off there, be like, ah, go crazy, be like, ah, switch to the main aspect. You know, they they be tripping off of it. I'll come back to that in a second, but I'm just curious about some. I really want this Z token for my guys. If I can find it, the fees are just, oh no, God darn, the fees. The fees are stupid. I'm going to see if it come back like just um, early in the morning, see if I can catch something at some time like that. Or I have to put some more in here just to buy some, but it is what it is. Um, the last thing I was going to say, Joe, is it, uh, so let's switch back to Polygon. And if anything ever get weird, you be like, oh, where my money at? The thing only saying loading is not doing that. It's probably your, your wallet's not connecting something. And so I remember I came on another wallet that had some other, um, the test stuff I started off with this. It wasn't connecting. So I had to go to Ethereum and then when it say, and then do exactly that. It said connect the mainnet. And it even it overwrote the one I had um, put in for Polygon and put a better uh, network connection in. So... That's why I said it's easier to do it that way. And there's others that do exactly the same way that run these decentralized. We won't go into it now. I will we'll mention them. But there's one on the Avalanche Network, um, Wonderland Time, that seems to be pretty well. And the OG of them is on Ethereum, and it's called Ohm. So you want to do some research. But anyway, the reason why this is crazy is that this is the APR. Look, 35434 Um for the year and now the price has gone up price is going up um goes up back and forth with that but that's not what you care about you care about just getting more and more climber every day that's climber because then you when you want to you unstake it and you have to approve to unstake and so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that now for the future for one day when you want to do it you only gotta do this once when you do approve to stake or unstake you only have to do that once for any of these platforms 
you know, but once it's done, now I can, if I want to, I can unstake all of this and take it right back out and then go back to sushi swap and switch. Or here, I just, it's already set up. I can go, I can just save that and just boop and then max out, switch all the climber that I got back into Ethereum, go back to that Polygon bridge <clears throat> and then bridge it back to regular Ethereum and then take it off to my MetaMask, send it back to my Coinbase and to my bank account. That's what was important to me. You know, it's going to be little money steps and all that, but hopefully by the time you do that, you have made so much that this is, is pennies to the idea of, um, of what you did. So, or not, or maybe you lost all your money. You know, it's the chance we take in this. So, you know how it is to still always give you the sign off though. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.